Um, hi everyone, today I'm going to uh, talk about 2.2 2, um, map on AD business calculus. Uh, this session 2.2 is talking about different, uh, differentiating product and quotients. Uh, we is talking about the product rule and quotient rule in, um, in uh, div um, a derivative. Okay, so um, um, the the first thing I'm gonna talk is about the product rule. Um, uh, so the product rule is um, is when you see um, two expression multiply each other and try to uh, take the derivative of that. Uh, for example, in here you are having um, say that ux and vx are differentiable functions, and then um, then the derivative of ux multiplied by vx here uh, will be the derivative of ux multiplied with a vx plus ux times derivative of vx. So in a short way to write, um, I can say like um, ux times vx derivative of whole this product will be the first derivative, the first uh, function derivative uh, multiplied by the, the second one uh, plus the first one multiplied by the second one derivative. derivative. Okay, so you may, uh, you may say, uh, okay, I need an example, let's do um, example number one here. I'm trying to find the derivative of um, say fx here, but fx is is having two factor. We mean what? We mean there is a product between two factor here. So what does that mean? I need to use my product rule in this case. And how can I apply the product rule? Um, in here, I get I will consider the first factor here is u, and the second factor here is v. Okay, and uh, and and you should know that we're gonna use a product rule, which is um, uh, d uh, over the x of u x times v v x, right? Gonna be equal to u prime. I gonna. I don't wanna write the x because uh, uh, I should wanna write a shortcut. It's time v plus uh, u time v prime. Okay. So um, so in here I have u. I have v already. Uh, let do a side work. Okay. I have u equal to five x square plus four. And I have v equal to x cubed plus 11, right? So I need to find the u prime, okay? I need to change the color. I need to find the u prime and the v prime and plug into here, all right? So u prime will be equal to, okay? Using your, um, using the, uh, the uh, simple power rule, apply on use in here, you will have what? Five times two x square, right? I mean, five times two x square minus one uh, plus zero. And you're gonna simplify it's become u prime equal to 10 x, right? Now for the v prime, you will have three x square. Uh, three put out and then x power three minus one which is two and then plus 11 the pick the view of 11 will be zero so this is uh, like a shortcut but uh you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, do similar uh step from the u primes so you have v prime and u prime already i want to just circle it to make sure i don't miss that and now i will apply that into the form here. 
So I have, um, I write to write by typing. So uh, equal to um, parentheses, you plan what is that, TNX, All right? Multiply by V, multiply V, what's the V? I have X to the power third plus 11. And then, uh, and then uh, uh, plus u is what do you use five x square plus four. Uh, I need to have balance. Don't forget it. And then multiply by v prime three x power two. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so that is the first step. Now, the second step is simplifying. Okay, I need to put this. All right. Okay, so now set. I would like to sim simplify it. So do distribution. I'm gonna have three ten x times I keep gonna be ten x power four. Okay. Plus 10x times 11 will be 11, I mean, 110x. Plus 5x squared times 3x squared gonna be 15x to over 4. Plus, uh, 4 times 3 gonna be 12x squared. Okay. And then lastly, uh, I can combine like term, uh, but before doing that, I would like to say f the derivative of x and here is f derivative of x. Uh, can we just? Move this a little bit. All right. Uh, it's look like I need to move everything. So let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. It's a little bit hard, but uh, delete this and write rise. So f of x will be equal to this, right? And here is f divided of x. This is f divided of x equal to. So now I have twenty five x over four plus twelve uh, x square plus eleven ten x. And then, um, yeah, that is going to be the answer. Okay, so um, uh, let's do one more example for um, example two here um, to make sure we understand that. So you can uh, pause my um, video to do it first and then uh, check the answer later. Okay, for this case, again, we are uh, doing, we are trying to find um, the value of t for uh, z derivative of t equals to zero. Uh, so, so I need to find, I need to find this, the, the z derivative of t first. Um, in this case, z t is, um, is um, a function uh, of, um, uh, of, of Porac between two factors. So I would like to use Porac rule in here and consider this guy is U and the other one is V. So um, a side work, I will have U equal to T squared minus four. And then V will be equal to T squared plus one. Okay. 
So I'm gonna find u prime will equal to two t minus zero. So I don't wanna write zero. And for the other one, v prime here gonna be equal to two t again. Remember that uh, the power of the t should be two minus one is one. So I don't even need to write number one. So um, um, this is a sidewalk. And now I'm gonna come back with the z degree of t will be equal to what? Uh, u prime times v plus v uh, plus u times v prime. So now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna rewrite it as uh, z prime t will be equal to u prime is two t times v. I'm gonna do parentheses here. V is t square plus one, and then I got plus with u is t square minus four times v prime is two t. Okay, now I would like to do distribution. I have 2t times t square is 2t cube uh, plus 2t and then plus t at 2t cube minus 8t, right? So now I have z divided of t will be equal to 4t cube. Uh, minus six t. Okay, so that should be the answer uh, for the z degree of t. But you need to look back for the question. What is what are they talking about? They want to find the value of t. Okay, uh, well, for which z degree of t equals zero. Now I, I need to set this equal to zero. All right. So let's move down here. I have, uh, I have z of t equal to zero, then I'm gonna make four, four t cubed minus six t equal zero. And in this case, you're gonna say, oh, what I should do now? Okay, in this, in this point, always think about how to factor this, okay? Um, you, uh, if you have a quadratic equation, I always ask you to do AC method to, to factor, right? So in this case, you don't, you don't have like a, a quadratic form. So you also need to try to make it become a factor. I, I mean, become factor. So then you can apply zero factor method later. Uh, in this, in this polynomial, um, <clears throat> can you factor things? Uh, you wanna you wanna try to find common uh, common uh, graded common factor between two term here. So it's, you know that um, the graded common factor between two this term gonna be two t. Okay. And then if you factor 2t out, uh, for the first term, you're gonna leave 2t squared minus three, okay? Then that's gonna be equal to zero. And now apply for the zero factor methods, you're gonna get the, fact, the first factor, 2t equals zero. And the second one gonna be 2t squared minus three equals zero, okay? So two case, the first case is 2t, um, let me change the color here. First one is this guy, the second is this guy, all right? So remember that. Um, now for the first case, 2t equals zero, you divide by two both inside, you have t equals zero. And the other case, you have 2t squared minus three. So you're gonna plus three both inside and divide by two you will get t squared equal to three over two. Then uh, now you will have what? You're gonna have um, t equal to, uh, t equal to zero, or um, maybe I need to, uh, I need 
need to write better. Okay, no. So I have t equal to zero or uh, t squared equal to three half, right? I'm gonna square root both hand side. Okay, and if you remember the square root method, the square root will give you positive and negative value for uh, for the other side of the variable. Uh, so now I'm gonna have t equals zero or t. Okay, square root here will cancel the two here. Okay, and that's give you positive and negative uh, square root three over two. Okay. And if you want to do simplify, okay, you will have um, a positive and negative of square root three times square root two over two. Um, so you will have square root of six, positive and negative over two with for t. Okay, so you have three solution for this case, which is t equals to zero and that is square root, uh, positive and negative square root six over two. All right. <clears throat> now, after talking about the Porat rule, now I'm gonna talk about quotient rule, okay? So quotient rule, um, what is quotient rule? I would like to move this up here first. So quotient rule is when you have uh, uh, the quotient between two function, right? Um, so you x and vx, and uh, you are trying to take the derivative between um, between uh, um, a quotient. Um, of uh, us and vx here um, so uh, in this case you had to know that the bottom cannot be equal to zero so that one of the requirement for for this um, derivative uh, why because when when you have zero at the bottom you're gonna get it undefined right away okay so how can you take the derivative of uh, like a fraction like this or like a rational function like this <clears throat> so you can you can see that it's it's look like um it's gonna be vx times the derivative of ux. So I'm gonna write v times u derivative and then minus u uh, times v derivative over v square, right? So uh, in another way to write as top over bottom, you're gonna have like bottom multiplied by top derivative minus for top multiplied by bottom derivative and then over the bottom square. Okay, so now uh, let's using that for uh, doing derivative in example three here. Okay, uh, let me see. So, uh, the example three here give me um, three problems. Problem A and also and and they ask me for the derivative. Um, in here, in problem A, they give me uh, is like a quotient between a constant over a variable. Um, so. In this case, um, you can apply quotient rule, okay? Uh, or, uh, however, however, I would like to ask you to change it to become, um, to become um, a power rule better, okay? Because why? Because uh, in this case, you can even change it to become x power negative two, right? Uh, and and when you take the view of that, you you gonna make it easier, uh, okay? So I gonna have say x to the power negative two. The view gonna be equal to negative two. Put put down 
multiply by x to power negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And then I will have, say, negative 2 over x power 3. Okay, so that is uh, the answer for, uh, for the view of, uh, of uh, 1 over x squared. So do you remember that? Do you remember that? Sometimes it looks like um, a quotient. It's, it's like a rational um, function. Uh, and if you want to take a view of that, it's maybe easier by uh, using um, using power rule better, okay? So, um, I mean, you can still using quotient rule in this case, but uh, it's gonna be a little bit tough. Um, let me show you how tough it is, okay? So, um, um, how about, I don't know. Oh, this doesn't gonna go. Let me move this to here. And then move this down to here. Do this. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to show you uh, to use my caution rule for this. So um, uh, I have one over x squared divided when I be. So um, bottom is x squared, right? Multiply by top derivative is one derivative. And then minus top is one times the bottom is x squared derivative. And then over x squared over two. Now you will uh, simplify, you know that x squared times one derivative gonna be equal zero minus one, okay? Time x squared divided gonna be put down two and time x, okay? And then it will be over for the x four. Now you're gonna get this become zero and minus four two uh, x over x four. But then you can cancel the x because it's in factor, it's, it's common factor between top and bottom. So you have negative two to power x cubed. So this should be the answer by using the, the quotient rule, but, um, but, uh, but if you using the power rule, it's gonna be shorter, right? Uh, so I can say a second method. using simple power rule. Okay. Um, yeah. With that, and they still have the same answer. Now, uh, for problem B, uh, similarly, uh, you still having um, a top as I mean I can uh, I can uh, simplify it to be three over two times one over x power four here right. So in this case again you can still using the quotient rule, but the easiest way is using uh, simple power rule because why? Because top is uh, like, a, uh, like a number one, a constant number, and the bottom is just just uh, uh, a var variable x. Uh, so um, this is variable x with some power. So I can change it to become power rule um, by um, change this become three half times x power ninety four. Okay, so now let's see what happened. Um, I'm gonna take the view of that. I have three half uh, times x power nearly four. Take the view of that so will be equal to three half times four nearly four. Put down times x power nearly four minus one. 
just give me uh, three uh, three half I mean this half I'm gonna make chain and therefore become negative two so I have three times negative two times x power negative five now I can make it become uh, negative six times over x to power fifth okay after a chain negative uh, power become positive power I flip it okay so this should be the answer for the um, b um now uh, i would like to know that if um if uh, function uh, has top is um constant and bottom is uh is uh what should i say um is just one term of x to power n or something okay uh, then then we should use simple power rule better okay so now um let's move to see the problem with uh with some complicated um complicated things uh so this some polynomials um, uh, between top and bottom. So in this case, I would like to, I mean, I have to use caution rule in this case. And I would like to say top is used and bottom is V. And now I would like to say, uh, f derivative of x will be equal to um, uh, the bottom is v times top is u prime minus uh, u times v prime divided by v square. Okay. Now I will have uh, this equal to uh, V's, um, now I need to have a sidewalk uh, with use is x cubed plus 2x minus 1 and then I will have to find u prime because in here I need it uh, so it's going to be 3x each term in here should be derivative, right 3x to power three minus one, which is two, right? You lower one unit from the power. Plus, okay, now two is constant stay, okay? Um, time with the power of x in here is one, or I mean the dv of x is just one. So I multiply by one, okay? And then I minus four, DV of one or DV of, zero, of, of constant number is zero. So I say minus zero. So I'm going to have U prime equal to 3x squared plus two. And I'm going to circle it. Now I have V equal to what? V equal to uh, X squared minus one. 
So now I can take the view of that to get V prime equal to two X. And that should be for the um, V prime. Okay, so um, now I would like to have F the view of X will be equal to uh, V is x squared minus one. I have to have parentheses multiplied by u prime three x squared plus two, and then a minus for u's, which is um, x cubed plus two x minus one, and I multiplied by v prime, which is two x here. Everything I divided by v square which is x square minus one and square. Okay. Now it's just a, the first step. Okay. If you uh, you have to be very careful with the first step because why? If you mess up with the first step, first step, then you mess up everything later. So I always do my aside work. I know that some of you are very smart and maybe you're gonna skip the aside work and just keep doing right away. But again, I don't recommend, I don't recommend you do that. Okay. Um, now let's move now and then uh, for this case, how can I simplify this? I would like to do the tuition. Okay. Because why? Because in, uh, in top and bottom now, I cannot cancel anything. Uh, because it's, it's, it's not in the factor completely, uh, completely um, between top and bottom, right? You don't have any common factor. That's why you, you are having like a, you are having like a negative in between two, um, two product there, right? Uh, so even though I mean uh, maybe some of you may say oh there is one someone like x square minus one here and there is some x square minus one here you can get so that that was totally wrong okay you don't want to do that because why there is some subtraction here don't make that mistake that is illegal okay um, now I'm gonna have um, f the of x equal to take the take the distribution, do distribution for, 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 for the top. Have x, uh, 3x4 uh, plus 2x squared, okay, minus uh, 3x squared minus 2. That is for the foot. The first two factor when you do distribution. I still want to put the balance because I don't want to forget it. Now I subtract for balance x cubed times two x going to be two x four, and then uh, plus squares four x square minus two x. Okay. Don't forget the parentheses because that is very important. You're gonna change the negative sign later, right? Uh, and the bottom is still x squared minus one, everything square. Now, time to open the parentheses. So the first term doesn't change anything. Uh, minus three x squared minus two. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? You can combine the two uh, two uh, the the two um like term two x square minus three x square here gonna be x square uh, negative x square negative x square minus two right what else do I have um I will have um, minus okay so I have two x four minus 4x squared and then plus 2x, okay. Over, 
I square minus one square. Now you can combine that term with one more time. You have um, say three x four and negative two x four. So that give you what x four. What else do we have? You have negative x square and negative four x square. That give you negative five x square. What else do we have? You have two x only, so plus two x, and you minus for two, and that's it. You have x square minus one square. Okay. For this case, you have four terms. You might think about can you do, can you do, um, can you do grouping with it in here? Um, the thing in here is, I must say, you look, you cannot, okay? Um, you can try, but I, I pretty sure you, um, because when I, I, I try to do in my head, you, I can know that when I factor out um, x squared for the first two terms, I have x squared minus five, and then the second one, I factor two, and I have x minus one. So it doesn't, it doesn't help me to, to, um, to using grouping method in here. Um, so I would like to just gonna, um, uh, just gonna stay here and say this is the answer for the app review X. Okay. All right. So let's go down here and do example five. How many more examples do I have? Let me sure. Okay, so about seven examples in here. Um, so so all the example above is uh, is main uh, example that you need to know for the uh, uh, for the um, uh, product rule and caution rule in uh, derivative. Uh, so how can you use that in um, in a, in a word problem or application in the real life? Uh, you can you you can um, uh, you can work in example five to example seven down here. Okay, so let's um, read example five as uh, the publisher of a musicians recently released autobiography expect that over the first 13 months after its release okay the monthly profit can be approximate with the model pt equal to 500 plus 100t minus 10 t square where P is in thousand dollar and T is in month from the time of release. Okay. So um, the the first question is derive a model that give the marginal profit of the book. So as I say, I mentioned before, if I'm talking about the marginal of something that mean you are I, I am taking trying to taking trying to take the derivative of that things so this is talking about marginal profit that mean i'm looking for the p e v of t all right so um let's do it okay um In here, I did give you the uh, the answer for the p dv of t, uh, but let me um, let me show you how to do it. Right, so I have 
I should know that is this is a caution. So I'm gonna apply it, caution do in here, and I would like to write P, uh, PT go to U over V, and write as PT is equal to bottom time uh, time U prime minus U time V prime divided by V square. Okay, now um, a sidewalk. Use, what is that? 500 by 100 T minus 10 T square. So U prime will be, find that's gonna be zero. So 100 T gonna be 100 minus 10 times two which is uh, 20 T for two minus one is T. And then I have V equal to T square minus plus five. Then V, the V gonna be what? Two T to power two minus one. And then and then five becomes zero, right? So I have, and I'm apply this, so V become T square plus five, term U prime is 100 minus 20 T, uh, I need more room, so I'm gonna clean this up and move down. So P is a P to be a T will be V is T square plus five term U prime is one hundred plus no minus. 20 T and then minus for the use 500 plus 100 T minus 10 T square and then V prime is 2 T. And then over v square which is t square plus five square okay now you have p dv of t gonna be what you need to do the tuition in here Okay, you can measure the step uh, like a uh, bow, for example. I have t square 100 times t square minus 20 t. I need to have parentheses first, so 20 t times t square is 20 t cube plus 500 minus. 100 t and then minus for 500 don't forget the parentheses final term 2 is 1000 t plus 200 t minus 20 uh, t square here 20 t cube Okay, divide by t square plus five, everything square. Okay, keep doing it. Now what happened? I'm gonna open the parentheses, 
100t square minus 20t cube plus 500 minus 100t okay that's for the first one now i'm gonna i'm gonna, ch I'm gonna open the second one by change all the sign because of negative thousand t minus 200 t square plus 20 t cube right over t square plus five square and i need to combine a term for the top so i have um first one i have this guy can be gone because of the negative and positive 20 t cube. Um, second one is square. So I have this guy combined like term for this guy to get uh, PDV of t equal to negative 100 t square. And then this Combined with this guy, I have a negative 1,100t. Um, and then plus, with 500s, and then divided by t squared plus five, square so this should be um this should be the answer already but uh they actually try to factor um oh actually you know uh they they factor on negative 100 out uh, for here Okay, and now I, I have a chat if I can still factor here. Then I can still factor this big, um, quad, this quadratic um, expression in in the parentheses here. Um, let me try it, right? So I'm not sure. So A times C's is uh, 85. B is 11. So uh, two number that moves by question become 95 and addition equal to 11. I would like to say there's no way to get it. Um, so I'm gonna, I, I cannot, I cannot factor it, right? Uh, so I'm gonna just say this to be the answer for problem A. Okay, and move to put on B. Um, uh, they want you to specify and interpret the expected marginal profit five months after release. What does that mean? Uh, marginal profit is P D V T, and then in here, five months after release. That mean what? That mean t equal to five in here okay for t equal to five what is p derivative of five right i want you to know that okay i want to find it so at five at t equal to five p derivative of five will be when you plug in in here in in in, in this one in this p derivative of t uh you can you can easily get say P divided by five will be equal to negative one hundred times five square plus eleven times five minus five over five square plus five and then square. So you will get uh, if you're using calculator, you will get uh, this answer and. Um, and uh, for interpret, you want to say the publisher can expect the profit uh, realized on 
um, on the cell uh, on the cell of the book to decrease by about eight point three from month five to month six. Decrease because the negative number here, okay? So that is the thing to interpret um, your uh, answer. Move to problem C here. Um, uh, similar in uh, with problem B, the one C just trying to ask you like, what happened with T equal to 10? And then try to uh, find P of uh, 10 here. So similarly, you, you will get P of 10 will be equal to negative 1.9 and then in the print say that the publisher can expect the profit realized on the sale of the book to decrease about mm, oh I should have um uh, you know what I should have thousand multiplied by thousand dollar right so I should have like a three hundred or eight thousand three hundred dollar Okay, and this uh, is so other one is uh, $1,900 from month 10 to month 11. And lastly, problem D is talking about offer a mathematical agreement to demonstrate that from month one after release, the monthly profit realized from the sale of the book decreased steadily. Um, in this problem, you actually um, uh, um, check for the k for the value of t greater than one. Uh, if p divided t is less than zero, then you can uh, you can have uh, the profit p t is always uh, decreasing. But uh, you see that um, uh, it, I mean you can check like um, um, check like for all value of t that greater than one, you can write away that uh, get that p d of t uh, less than zero. So yeah, it should be already decreasing, okay? You can plug in something like 1.1, 1 .1, any any value that's uh, greater than one, all right? And, I'm curious that if t equal to one, what happened? Um, let's check that. Let's see, I have. Say p divided by one will be equal to negative 100 times one square is one plus 11 times one is 11 minus five divided by one square is one plus five square. So now I have negative one hundredths times with uh, 12 minus five gonna be seven. Uh, time one hundredths, negative seven hundred. Um, and then one point, one point five is six square is thirty six. Okay, so that's still a negative number. So I can even say that for all value from one, you will get a negative number. Okay, so that means that, that mean, uh, profit function is always decreasing after one month. I mean, yeah, after one month um, from the from the, the, the month of 13. Okay, so um, uh, this example six is a good one too. It's talking about find equation of the line tangent of the graph of mx equal to two x minus five over x minus three when x is equal to four. So remember that. Um, last time we did talk about um, uh, find the equation of the line tangent, sorry, right? And like uh, here's the curve of mx. 
and here is tangent line of the fx. That's um, intersect with the fx at one point is uh, a, and this point a have to uh, in this case have to have x is equal to four. And the value of y here should be um, something that you need to find later. But you need to know that this point is lie on both uh, the tangent and the curve. So in order to find the y value here, you can even plug or substitute x equal to 4 into, into fx here with the graph in order to get the y value, right? So, um, so that is a thing, but, um, but in order to find an equation of a line tangent, uh, firstly, you need to find a slope, okay? Slope or, um, or in this case is m, and equal to the derivative of a of x, at x equal to four, okay? So um, I gratify the review of x first. Um, so I have f uh, or, or, or f review of four, I can write that. So I would like to find f review x first. We, um, in here I should also Notate here is u over v, right? Um, and a sidewalk, uh, sidewalk, let me write a sidewalk first. Um, let me move this guy. Let me move this guy. Let me move this guy up here. Okay. And then here is a sidewalk. Change color. I have um, u equal to two x minus five, so that give me u prime will be two, right? Five negative five will be zero. Two times x actively going to be one, so no doubt it's going to be equal to two. V equal to x minus three. So V prime will be equal to the view X is one. Minus three derivative zero. So that V derivative is gonna be equal to one. Now substituting uh, uh, F derivative X is gonna be um, uh, V prime time, uh, actually V time U prime minus u times v prime over v square. So with two times, I have v is x minus three times u prime is two minus u is two x minus five times v is, and the v prime is one over v square is x minus three square. Um, now I have f of x equal to two x minus six. I'll take, the, uh, I'll take the, the distribution for that. Minus two x minus five and one is, uh, I need to have, I don't see here, 2x minus 5 divided by x minus 3 square. And uh, actually at this point, I even can just plug in uh, 4 into here. I don't even care about like, uh, how to simplify this. But uh, if you like, you can just keep doing, say, 2x minus six minus for the two x plus five over x squared, uh, x minus three 
square. And now you can just cancel this guy to get negative six plus five equals to negative one over x minus three square. So you are having this at the um, say general uh, general slope, right? Uh, say general slope. But in in this case, you are looking for the slope m equal to f derivative of four because f x equal to four, right? So you will have what you're gonna have um uh one and one over four minus three square and equal to negative one over one square which is equal to negative one that is the slope of the tangent line okay and in order to in order to um to write the equation of, an, uh, of a line or of a tangent line, you need to have slope and a point, right? Uh, or you need to call, to have a coordinate of the point here, point A here. So uh, in here I have the value of four R in, of X value R in, but I need to find the value of Y. And in order to find the value of Y, I need to plug into, plug X into the MX. Okay, so um, so I have uh, a uh, so, so intersection point, intersection point is a which is four y um uh. And we can have y equal to f of four, which equal to um, what a little bit uh, two times four minus five over four minus three, and then have eight minus five equal to three over one, which equal to three. So y equal to three. So that means what? Um, so a is four comma three. Substitutes. So now you have uh, slopes is m equal to negative one and a point is a for three into slope, no, point slope four. Because you have a point and you have a slope, right? Yeah, y minus y1 is what? Three. I'm just gonna write the form for you to make sure you don't forget it to m times x minus x1. So now when you substitute, you have y minus, y1 is um, three, go to negative one, times uh, x minus x1, and here is, And I even can stop here to, and say that this is equation of tangent line because it it doesn't need me to write in in it doesn't say anything like uh, what form what kind of form I need to write so I'm gonna just stop at the part slope form in. Or slope form. Okay. Um. So, uh, the last example is um. 
pity um to me it's 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 uh it's gonna be easy for uh for most of you if you feel strong already but um i mean if you uh if you if you still need help for this you can um uh still um uh, ask me in the um, uh, in the live lecture um so um for this one i just gonna say um uh, the hint for you is um try to um use these at the uh, fx um, and uh, note that it is like a, a caution uh, so you can apply your caution rule and top is u and bottom is v and then you're gonna find um try to find uh, the app review x first and then you're gonna just plug in uh, uh, Four for app review four, and, to, uh, and then put in six to get the app review six, and that's gonna be the answer for um, as I'm as I was in here. Uh, so to me, it's pretty easy. Um, um, so I'm gonna stop the the class um, now. If you have any question, um, you can uh, send me an email or you can even um, go to the live class on my office hour. Uh, but if you don't have any question, go ahead and, and go to the XYZ work, finish your um, assignment and then um, work on the, the uh, work on the quiz uh, actually, you know what? Should you should go on uh, homework 2.2 first, then move to the quiz. Okay, I'm gonna see you in the next uh, lecture. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a good day. Bye.